Good morning. It's good to see you today. Hope you're doing well. We're going to be looking in Romans today here now that it is New Testament Thursday. Sometimes people have this idea that we as Christians that we are, we should still look at ourselves as horrible people, as sinful people, as wretched people, as unrighteous people. Let's see what Romans actually says. In chapter 3 at verse 10 it says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks after God. They have all turned aside. They have together become unprofitable. What we see in Romans is we see a contrast. We see a contrast between before and after. Before we were unprofitable. Before we were unrighteous. But now, verse 24 says, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Verse 26 says that he might be the just that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus demonstrating his own righteousness. Before I was unprofitable, but now as chapter 6 at verse 13 says, now I am an instrument of righteousness. Before I was as it says turned aside, before I was in sin, but now I have been justified by God. Before, in chapter 7 at verse 14, before ch in chapter 7 at verse 14, he says, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. That's how I was before. But now, what am I? In chapter 6 at verse 22, it says, But now having been set free from sin and having become slaves of God. I was sold under sin, but now I have been redeemed. Before, in chapter 7 at verse 24, he says, O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Before I was wretched, and he asks a question, who will deliver me? And in chapter 8 at verse 1, we have the answer. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. You have a before and you have an after. In chapter 8 at verse 6, it says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. People have this idea that we can be carnally minded and spiritually minded at the same time, and it's just not possible. You cannot serve God and mammon. It is impossible. It is one or the other. Before, what I was like was in chapter 5 at verse 8. God, God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Before, I was a sinner. But the question is, what am I now? And that's in chapter 8 at verse 37. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. That is the power of God's grace. We are not who we were. People think that we should look at ourselves as horrible. We're not horrible. We have died. That is what Romans 6 is about. We have crucified ourselves with Christ. It is Christ who liveth within us. We are not horrible anymore. We have been justified by God through His Son. We are not wretched anymore. We are instruments of righteousness is what we are. And that's how we need to look at ourselves. We are more than conquerors if we are led by the Spirit. If we're not led by the Spirit, then we're still in our sins. Hope you enjoyed this study today. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We hope to see you tomorrow morning.